All right, moving into multicolor. You bet. Uh, I I see that you have chosen <laughs> outside your comfort zone. Here. Yes. Uh, to, to the surprise of probably nobody, I've chosen the black white card because <laughs> this is an amazing black white card. One of my probably top five commanders for, for black white ever. I've chosen, I guess it's pronounced Lisa, Shroud of Dusk. Uh, two white, white, black, a legendary angel, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, rather than pay two mana for each previous time you've cast the spell from the command zone this game, pay two life that many times. Has flying, has lifelink, and also has whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. Um, I am very interested to play this. Uh, I think that any deck that is black-white and is not able to uh, keep up with the life loss on this card is doing it wrong. <laughs> so, um, this is a, uh, a black-white player's dream card. Um, can't wait to figure out either a deck to build this around or one that I already have to jam it into. Yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm just going to jam this into something black-white. It's a 5-5 five, yeah. five flyer for 5 that has lifelink. Right. Like, there's... there's no sort of downside, and then then there's the the thing again when a player casts a spell they lose two life, mm -hmm. so it's keeping in check again people getting out of hand. Like, yeah, remember that says whenever a player, not an opponent. So make right. sure you understand what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> yeah, <life laughs> it's going to affect yourself as well. So. Yeah, life link will make it fine, but it should be fine. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, I mean, again, this is a card that makes people rethink about how they're going to play the game. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this card is going to do much damage to Brian David Marshall. Right? He's a Simic player. <laughs> right. He's a Simic player, and he's like, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's like, okay, did you lose your 12 there? Right. He wants to cast 18 spells a turn. Right. <laughs> right. So go ahead, Brian. Uh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan um, of this card. What I have got? chosen uh, Amareth the Lustrous. Because it's yeah. lustrous. -y. Yeah. Uh, it costs three and bant, so green, white, blue. It's a legendary dragon. It's a 6-6 six, six flyer. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, look at the top card of your library. If it shares a card type with the permanent, you can reveal the card and put it into your hand. Guess what goes into your Amoreth the Lustrous deck? <laughs> Kodama of the East Tree. Probably, yes. <laughs> right. Um... I, this, this, I mean, I like the Bant is a is a favored color combination. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, I, I just like what this does. Right again, it's entering the battlefield. You look at it. If it shares the type, put it in your hand. So you, w one of the things I really like is that when you play a land late in the, later in the mid or late game, if there's another land on top of your library, you get it off and into your hand so that you're drawing more gas. Yeah, right. It, it helps you sift through your deck. Um, again, it, put, it puts things out. It, it helps you draw into things. Uh, this is just a, this is a fine commander. Uh, you know, it's, it's on a relatively beefy body, so there's certainly an opportunity for you to kind of go ham with doing some commander damage on here with a sword or something. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a this is a fine fine card. Yeah, there were multiple uh, gold cards that I could have predicted you would play. This was certainly one of them. Yeah, but, well, there's one also you would the, choose for this pre yeah. for this uh, for this segment. There's a yeah, there's a Mardu one too that I thought would be one you would play too. But, the Mana uh, Burn one. The, sorry, the Mana Burn one. Yeah, the Mana Burn one. Uh, obviously, but yep, yeah, this is uh, this is right in Bant's wheelhouse. Um, I am not surprised you chose this one. This thing is a value engine, <laughs> which right. I know you really enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no surprises here. Oh, plus it's a big fat flying dragon, which is a bonus. Right. So, uh, you know, what are you gonna, you know, I, I, there's no going wrong. That everybody that. loves. This will be all right. Uh, what's your uh, what's your artifact or colorless? Uh, uh, my uh, so I here's like I didn't know what you were gonna pick, but I suspected what you were gonna pick, and I didn't want to double up. <laughs> so, okay. uh, I've chosen Blade Griff Prototype. Uh, this is a five cost artifact creature. It's a Griffin. It's a three two flyer. And it says when Blade Griff Prototype deals combat damage to a player, destroy target non-land permanent of that player's choice that one of your opponents controls. Uh, there's a lot of words to parse there. 
But what it really comes down to is this is a neat little political card um, yeah. that I think, uh, I don't know how much play it'll see. I hope it sees some play. I, I like what it does. So, you know, I, I, I deal, I come over and I swing at Sheldon. I do combat damage to him. And then Sheldon gets to look at Toby and Gavin's boards to decide right. what to blow up. <laughs> so uh, I think it's got some uh, some cool possibilities for uh, for the pol- for the political side of the, uh, of the game. Yeah, one hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. And you know, the question: uh, Will you be willing to take three and right. blow up X? Right. Is, and there are a lot of times when I'm going to say yes. I'm right. willing to take the three if you're going right. to blow. Up. Why? <laughs> Re- Why? Remember that when I do this. When I say, yeah. Sheldon, will you take three to blow up Toby's shenanigan he's got going on? <laughs> right. We'll all be good, yeah. We'll all be good. Yeah, what, yeah, do, you got for, what do you got? I've chosen the Horizon Stone. Mm-hmm. It costs five. If you would lose unspent mana, that mana becomes colorless instead. So this is basically um, Crufix on an artifact. Yes. That's, well, that's destructible, but still. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And mostly I brought it up so I could mention the interaction with uh, your lock of the Scorched Thrash. Right. Uh, which is bringing Mana Burn back. A player losing unspent mana causes that player to lose that much life. These cards actually don't interact because, mm-hmm. uh, or, or, or they do interact in that you don't, you don't take the damage. Right. right, because because you're not losing unspent mana. Right, the unspent mana uh, event is being replaced into something colorless. Yeah, and it's con- converting uh, you know, colorless. I think we, yeah. yeah, I think we all have a lot of mana sinks that we need and want to play, mm-hmm. and um, and I think Horizon Stone will then give us a pile uh, that we can use later because we're not going to lose it as phases end um, and. Um, and turns and so we get to hang on to it. This is good stuff. Yeah, they're both they're both cute cards. I like them. Um, I really like the art in Horizon Stone, by the way. The yeah, infin- that is pretty. The cool. infinity symbol. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> the infinity That's symbol out. tipped on its side. <laughs> right. it's, uh, I, I think there's. I, I think it's uh, not unintentional that that is right. <laughs> tipped on its side. Uh, yeah, like like both of these cards, like the Horizon Stone doesn't really it's not really a play into a, a play pattern that I like to personally play, but uh, I can see uh, this. I mean, before I had a Rick Smithies, I played I played Crufix, uh in my uh, big Sea Monsters deck just so I could build up some mana over turns to play stuff. So yeah, um, but uh, not not as much of a problem for me anymore. Um, I think uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. I, I expect to see these two play together a bit. Yeah, absolutely. As well, well as some of the older, some of the older cards that would dump mana into opponents, uh, you know, would get, would add mana to opponents yes. uh, that don't really see play anymore because of mana burn, uh, mana burn having been removed from the rules. So mm-hmm. uh, it'll be interesting to see if somebody builds, you know, the deck that intends to make people lose by uh, by mana burn. It'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah, that'll be yeah. that'll be a, mm-hmm. a possibility that somebody will certainly build around. We look forward to seeing it. Mm-hmm. 